Hey, it's Scott. And even though it's June of 2020, I actually feel like it's Christmas. And that just last week, I received a copy of the new Braslow tape. So with that in mind, there are several changes that they made to the tape, but simply I want to go ahead and just touch on what I think are the three biggest ones that you need to be aware of. So first of which is, remember, if you compared Braslow versus Hantevi, one of the big appeals of Hantevi, and it's an absolutely great system, was that with Hantevi, you didn't have to wait to get to the kid to be able to prepare. Whereas if all you heard over the radio was the kid was two years old, you could flip in your book or open up your app to two-year-old and have two-year-old stuff ready before you arrived. But when it came to Braslow, you couldn't start figuring out until you actually were on scene and actually able to measure red to the head and measure the kid. That's change number one. Whereas on the just released Braslow tape, they now have an additional new chart. Whereas it simply says if you're two years old, just to the left, it says you are 12 to 14 kilos. And just to the left, it says you are a yellow. So that that way, much like Hantavi, now you can prepare before you actually go ahead and arrive on scene for the kid. New revision number two involves epinephrine. And this came into play because of the Institute of Safe Medical Practices. Whereas a little while back, they put out an alert that when it came to epi, Remember, epi really came in two flavors, and that's called we squirted it in the IV, or we gave it as an intramuscular for anaphylaxis. And we had one to 1,000, which was the little one cc vial. And then we had cardiac epi, otherwise known as one to 10,000 epi. However, the Institute for Safe Medical Practice determined that this whole one to 1,000, one to 10,000 thing is a potential for errors. And therefore, they recommended that it should be changed. And as such, now if you look at the vials of Epi or the boxes of Epi, the new ones actually don't have one to 1,000 or one to 10,000 on them anymore. They say exactly what's in the bottle, one milligram slash one ml, or one milligram slash 10 ml. So there's no confusion, that's what's in the liquid. So with that, on the new version of the Braslow tape, when it comes to epinephrine, it's the same idea. Whereas now for epinephrine, it says epinephrine 0.1 milligrams per ml, meaning that's the one that you want to go ahead and use. But it also in shaded just to the right says one to 10,000. So that that way, if you're old school and you just remember one to 1,000, one to 10,000, that's okay, it's still there. But out of respect to IMSP as a way to help prevent errors, it also says 0.1 milligrams per ml is the concentration that you ought to use. Now, the last big change when it comes to the tape involves giving fluids. And from my perspective, honestly, after this video, simply in good conscience, I could retire. Because for over 10 years, I have been asking Drs. Braslow and Luton, the two physicians who helped to co-create the tape, if they could please change this wording when it came to giving fluids. Because remember, in previous versions, if you wanted to give a fluid bolus, it was described as volume expansion crystalloid. And we're like, what the heck is volume expansion crystalloid? I just want to give a fluid bolus. So in parentheses, remember it said NS or LR, meaning saline or ringers. However, with the newest version of the tape, they now list fluid bolus as fluid bolus. They still have parentheses saline or ringers. But if you want to go ahead and figure out before this child arrives your tubes or meds, you now have that extra spot. If you want to figure out how much epi, again, one milligram per cc or one milligram per 10 cc. And lastly, as a pre-retirement present, simply fluid bolus is now fluid bolus. 
there's absolutely nothing wrong with the previous versions of the Braslow tape that very much are still out there. But as of June 2020, welcome to the new version of the Braslow tape. 